Uh, so my name is Mornay, I'm a fossil hunter, amateur fossil hunter, lived here in Christchurch. And what I do is on weekends I go out look for fossils on the beaches. If I find a cool fossil, what I do is I prep it, uh, which means I take the rock away so you can see the fossil underneath. Every now and again I find a cool fossil and then I can donate it to a museum. Dr. Paul Schofield, he's a senior curator at Canterbury Museum. Uh, he brought me along when he was having some fossils scanned and Leighton from Pacific Radiology helped us scan a whole bunch of fossils and that allowed us to look inside the turtle skull and also inside some concretions full of bird bones from Taranakia, I think. So my name's um, Dr. Paul Schofield and I'm the senior curator of natural history at Canterbury Museum. I'm also an adjunct professor at the University of Canterbury. Yeah, well, what we like to do when we get an opportunity is to take some of the most spectacular finds that have come out of the Canterbury area and actually just uh, have a preliminary look at them to see what might be lurking underneath all that rock. Because as Mornay um, has mentioned, it's really a huge amount of effort to actually prepare a fossil like that. It's really difficult to prep a fossil uh, fast and still do it well because as soon as you try and remove the rock too fast, you're going to damage the fossil. Uh, so what, what's really great is being able to see inside the rock, which is where uh, the CT scanner behind me comes in because they can look through the rock and can give me an idea of where the fossil is inside the rock and I can then be a lot more confident with which pieces of rock I remove. And I can work a lot faster using the air scribe and also different kinds of acid uh, to expose the fossil to the daylight. My name's Leighton Greer. I'm in charge of CT at Pacific Radiology in, here in Canterbury. It's always something interesting, like these guys have, have come along with these fossils. You walk along the beach here, there's a thousand rocks. Like you don't even know they're there, but obviously we're walking o over them. So after five months, I was left with this awesome skull. But if you look at the bottom, there's still rock everywhere. And I wanted to see what's going on inside here, what the internal structure of this turtle skull is, uh, because that will tell us a lot more about what species it is, where the nasal passages are and everything. And that's where Pacific Radiology helped me. So we put it through a CT scanner been a CT technologist for 16 years. I travelled a bit before then to help people, to help them on their journey as they go through their, their health issues or, or just want to know what's going on with them. Oh, it's great. Everyone's just really friendly and welcoming. When I came here with the fossils, they didn't look at me weirdly uh, as I was bringing in fossilised penguins and turtle skulls. Uh, they were just really helpful, brought me through to a room and gave me like a flash drive with all my files. When I was actually getting my knee CT scan, they had to use a contrast and I don't like needles. So they were really good at keeping me calm, putting me into the machine, giving me some music to listen to. Uh, yeah, they're just really friendly and very um, approachable, I would say.